With the launch of Bepi Colombo mission this week, we have now begun another mission to Mercury. But why exactly are we going here? In this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why the scientists decided to go back to this beautiful yet somewhat inhospitable looking planet. And one of the main reasons we're going back here is to actually find out why this planet is so dense. Why does it actually have so much metal on the inside compared to even Earth, at least percentage wise? The actual composition of uh, Mercury is surprisingly metallic and this is something that we didn't actually expect because Venus, for example, doesn't have as much, neither does Mars and um, Earth does have metal but not as much by percentage. So either this planet was created in a very unusual way or, more likely, experienced some sort of a catastrophic collision which probably ended up throwing away a lot of material which ended up somewhere. And if that happened, where did it all go? This object must have escaped somewhere and may have actually either uh, collided with the sun or maybe collided with some other planet. So we do want to discover how Mercury actually received so much metal compared to other planets. The second reason is the atmosphere. Now, Mercury is not a planet you usually associate with atmosphere, but we found out that there's actually a very thin layer of hydrogen and helium here. And we don't really know where it's coming from and what's actually causing its creation. So scientists want to find out where it's all coming from. And speaking of hydrogen, there's also this tail that uh, Mercury has that we can't really explain. There's a lot of hydrogen coming off uh, the dark side of Mercury that creates a very, very long comet-like tail of hydrogen. And we can't really explain why, how, or what's happening. On the other hand, we also want to find out what is actually hidden on some of the parts of the surface that we didn't get to explore the first few times we visited the planet. The missions uh, to Mercury didn't really get to map it very thoroughly, so we want to map it uh, essentially very accurately, so we can actually see exactly what's happening here on the surface. But some parts of the surface are already visible and known to us, such as, for example, this right here. This is yet another mystery. This is known as the spider. We don't really know what exactly created this unusual um, object. It looks like a crater, but it also has these spider-like protrusions from it. And nothing else in the solar system looks like it. We don't really know how it was made. On the other hand, another unusual surface feature is, well, are the craters themselves. Uh, if you actually compare Mercury with the Moon, you might realize how similar they are. Even their mass is actually relatively similar and uh, they're practically identical in their surface structure. Okay, in this case, they actually didn't survive for very long. But if I were to look at the dark side of the moon and then place Mercury right next to it, uh, you would see that, well, there is actually a lot of similarity, at least in terms of the amount of craters on the surface. And even though their color is a little bit different, overall, they kind of look the same. And what's interesting is that this is really the biggest mystery. The craters on Mercury don't seem to be as deep as the ones on the Moon. So for some reason, these craters are much more shallow. And we don't really know why. We expected the opposite because when something falls on the surface of Mercury, it's moving at a much higher speed than something that falls on the Moon. And that's because of the way that orbital velocities work. So you expect these craters to be much deeper, but they're not. It's the opposite. And that's a mystery, and we want to solve it. And speaking of the surface, there's also a bit of a volcanic activity that's easily detected if you look really closely. And um, we've detected several spots that may have been volcanic very recently, but we don't really know if volcanoes are still active on Mercury. And if they are, we want to find out why. Now, except for volcanoes, there's actually something else unusual going on here. We've even discovered ice on the surface and we want to find out how much of it is there and we want to find out if we can actually use it for something if we end up landing here. So even though this planet is really close to the sun and it's technically one of the hotter objects in our solar system, there is literally ice pretty much um, all over the poles and that's because the uh, sun doesn't actually reach those uh, regions of the planet very easily. Now, one thing you may already know about Mercury is that it actually spins relatively slow compared to Earth. 
A single rotation here is about 58 days and that means that, well, technically it shouldn't really have any magnetosphere because it's moving or spinning really slow. But we are once again proven wrong because it does have a magnetosphere and we don't really understand why. And this is really important for us to understand because if we are to create magnetosphere around, for example, Mars, or if the magnetosphere of Earth suddenly fails and we have to somehow create it artificially, we have to try to understand what's causing the magnetosphere of Mercury to be so active, even though it doesn't seem to be spinning fast. And another unusual mystery of Mercury is that we've also realized that it may have actually shrunk in terms of volume. It may have been much bigger and there are signs on the surface that, specifically the cracks all over the surface, that indicate that it actually shrunk um, at least a little bit in the last few million years. And this could be related to volcanism, it could also be related to the magnetosphere, so we need to understand what's actually happening inside this planet to understand a little bit more about the events that could potentially help us colonize and also terraform Mars. And so, in essence, those are the 10 main reasons why we're going back to Mercury. We're trying to understand what's happening on the surface, we're trying to understand what's happening on the inside, and we're trying to relate all of this to events that might be important for us to basically colonize and terraform planets later on. Mercury is a very mysterious place, but it hasn't really been visited that much. And hopefully one day we might even set our foot here. For now though, that's all I wanted to tell you in this video, I and mean, if you want to learn more about the actual mission, feel free to watch the video I posted a few days ago. Thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.